Now, I don't know if you knew this already, but Games Workshop has its own in-house discount range of models. And I don't mean going to Element Games or Whalen Games and getting 20% off. I mean that you can go into the shop in person or online to the warhammer.com website and buy the exact same army two times, but one of them will be half the price. And what do I mean by that? I'm not trying to sell you some sort of sneaky trick or some sort of fraud scam here. I mean the old world. Yeah, I only just realized this and it's because I was trying to bulk out my Age of Sigmar army and I wanted to get some more Chaos Warriors. And I went onto the website and I typed in Chaos Warriors and it gave me two options. And I saw the old world one there and it was more expensive. It was £52.50 versus £40 from Age of Sigmar. But, but then I looked at the packet a little bit more deeply and I thought, wait a minute, this, you're getting that looks like more models, that can't be right. And so I looked at it, and you get 32 models in the Old World box, compared to the 10 in the Age of Sigmar box. And I thought, for extra £12.50, I'm getting 22 additional models. That's incredible. And look at the size of the box. It's huge, I can't even fit it on screen. It's so big, it's great. It feels like you bought like an old school box of Warhammer, like a third edition or something like that. And it made me wonder, actually, how much could I save if I bought a whole army? So I thought what we could do is just do that now. I'm going to go to Lispot. I'm going to build a 2000 point army that I know you could buy in both. And we're just going to see how much the difference is, because I think it is going to be at least 50%. Let's have a look. Right, so I've got Lispoff 4.0 up here and I'm gonna use it just to build 2000 points army using models that I know you can get for both of the systems. So let's start off with a Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount. Let's get ourselves two chariots, one Chaos Chosen, two sets of knights, a three Chaos Warriors and three Dark Oath Marauders. There we go, 2,040 points. 2,000 point army, okay, 40 points. Your friends will let you off, I'm sure. And maybe not the best list that's out there, but it's a list. It's 2,000 points of models for Age of Sigma. okay? Now, why don't we go and have a look how much that costs when we buy it in Age of Sigma? Right, so we're on the warhammer.com website and let's go to the Age of Sigmar to buy that army here. So chaos, it's darkness, here we are. Right, we need to start off with a Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount. There's one of them. Then we need two Chaos Chariots, Chaos Chariots, Chaos Chariots. Ah, oh, they're out of stock, crap. Okay, uh, they are 28 pounds. We need to find something else for 28 pounds that we can use as a Alternate 2750, 20, 24, 25, 2750, 28 pounds. Uh, we've got Ogroy Champions. We'll use two of those to be the price of our two chariots. Then we need one set of Chaos Chosen. Chaos Chosen, back up here somewhere. I saw them. There. One set of Chaos Chosen. And then we need uh, two Chaos Knights. One two and we need three chaos warriors one two three and we need three dark oath marauders dark oath marauders where are you you're all the way down here there one two three okay let's see what we've got that is two thousand points of age of sigma again not the best list but it is two thousand points you could play this and that comes in at 443 pounds. Let's just double check. We've got a Chaos Lord and Demonic Mount. We've got our two ch chariots, aka the champion. We've got one set of Chaos Chosen. We've got two Chaos Knights. We've got three Chaos Warriors and three Dark Oath Marauders. 2,000 points, 443 pounds. It's actually less than I thought it would be, actually, because I just have in my head, it's like 1,000 pounds for 2,000 points. I don't know why, but probably that's because this doesn't include buying your Abraxias or your Bellacors that are just going to add, you know, another 100 quid onto that because your Chaos Lord and Demonic Mount is 
probably not enough <laughs> as your sort of leader level you want that you might also buy yourself an Eternus and you're going to buy yourself some Varangard and it's all going to add up to at least a couple of hundred quid more so that's that so let's just remove those that's 443 pounds let's remember that and we will try out the same but using the old world so we go to the old world warriors of chaos not going to use any of the battalion boxes because that would be cheating. But let's start off. We need Chaos Lord on Demonic. Let's see. Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount. Ah, they're out of stock as well. £18.75. I think the Chaos Steed actually is the same. So I wanted to buy one of those the other day. Yeah. So we use the Sorcerer on Chaos Steed as a proxy for that. We then need two Chaos Chariots. Well, look at that. You get two in a box. Perfect. Uh, I then need one set of Chaos Chosen. Um, we'll buy the cheaper ones to make this uh, fair. <laughs> yeah, we'll get those, 37 quid. Uh, we will then get, we need a set of Chaos Knights, which again, I think the box comes with two sets of five, so I just need to buy one box of those. And then some Chaos Warriors, uh, again, I need to buy one box of those because I'm going to get all 30 for those, so that's one box of those. And I need one box of Dark Oath Marauders because I again believe that comes with... 32 miniatures. Let's have a look. 32 mortal followers of the dark gods for your warriors of chaos. There we go. Add to cart. That is our full cart. Well, I only had to buy six things over 17 things, which is going to be a bit of a difference anyway. But let's see what the price difference is. £265.75. Heck, that is actually a lot less than I thought that was going to be. I was thinking... I did say half price, but I thought maybe it would it would bulk itself up because you're only going to get the, the warriors aren't actually half price and the chariots aren't the same as well. But that is pretty much 40% off. Let me just do some quick calculations. I'll come back to you. Yeah, I've double checked it. It is 40% off. That is pretty amazing, right? That you can just go out now and buy yourself exactly the same army, but you could get it for half the price by choosing to buy stuff from the old world. Now, I'm not suggesting you go out there and buy that exact list because it's not a great list. And I'm not suggesting that you buy every single piece of your army in that range. Some of them you might not like. You might not like that old Hummer look. And they aren't as sort of adaptable, but they're, they're still pretty good sculpts. I mean, look at these guys. I think they're pretty cool. They've got a real quality to them. Yes, you will need to buy some plastic round bases to make it an Age of Sigma army, but come on, we're, we're talking pennies on the dollar here. That's not going to make too much of a dent. But my point is that and you could do what I'm doing, which is if you want to bolster your army with a set of Chaos Warriors, I still think these are pretty good sculpts that I don't see why you wouldn't say, like, if you think you want your army to have at least three battalions of Chaos Warriors, why not buy the 32 you get in here, you get 30, and then use two of the Command Squad to maybe make a Chaos Lord or just proxy it up, and you've saved yourself even more money because I could even take the Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount out and maybe make one of these into a Chaos Lord Sorcerer and say that's my proxy for it. I could do a little bit of kit bashing and there you go. And so in this box, you've got yourself your 30 Chaos Warriors and two to play around with to kit bash together to make something extra. So it's an incredible deal. I can't believe I'm saying that about Games Workshop, a deal from Games Workshop. But it makes you wonder, doesn't it? It makes you wonder. Could they do it for 40k in other settings? I don't know. I think it's too dangerous for 40k because of Primaris Marines and the Horus Heresy. But maybe? I just think maybe it could really work. Because I hear on the grapevine that the old world's doing great. Anyway, that's enough for today. If you're new here, I usually do Necromunda lore videos and kit bashes, as well as keeping up with the news and telling you any interesting things I find, particularly if I can find more of these consumer points. I've got a kit bash that actually does both of those things coming up soon. So if you want to see any of those things, please do give us a subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And if you enjoyed this, why don't you give us a like? Maybe you're just going to come to the comments below and tell me, duh, I already knew this already. Uh, so do that as well. But until next time, you stay safe in the Undive. Bye, everyone.